Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you an alternate side loading method that's different to the play cover tutorial that I've done earlier. And this is going to be using side loadly and it does not require the disabling of system integrity protection. So if you're worried about disabling the main security feature of the M1 Mac, then you should be using this method. However, there are some downsides. Firstly, we're going to be in the iPad aspect ratio. So it's going to be four by three. We're not going to be in a widescreen. And also we don't have keyboard or mouse support. So we're going to be using either the mouse to do the touchscreen controls or we're going to be using a controller to play this game so if you're happy with these compromises then you should be using this method i also have alternate methods using parallels using the windows version of diablo immortal in order to play this game and also the play cover version which has key binding support and also widescreen aspect ratio support so just be aware just like the play cover tutorial this requires the use of a decrypted ipa so that means that we need to be bypassing some of the security features of lizard's mobile game and this might cause banning at some point as it does with other games it's really hard Hard to say. People have been sideloading for nearly two days now and no one has been banned yet. However, this is still early days and Blizzard are perfectly in their rights to do so. So if you're worried about that, then you should be using the parallels method in order to play this game on the M1 Mac. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to install sideloadly. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. It just takes a moment to do and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So firstly, we're going to be using the application called sideloadly. So I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. And what we need to do is to go to the download page here. We're going to go ahead and and click on the macOS download. So we'll click allow here. I'm going to download this software. Once that's done, we're going to go to Finder and we'll go to our downloads folder. I want to double click on Sideloadly and then we're going to drag and drop this into the applications folder. So within applications, we're going to scroll down and find Sideloadly here. Just double click. And if it says here that it can't be opened because it's not verified, we'll click cancel. Then we're going to hold down the control key and then click on Sideloadly again and press open. Now I have the option here to manually open. Just click on this. And now this application is going to load. So Sideloadly is going to allow us to sideload decrypted applications. So in order to get one for Diablo Immortal, we need to find a decrypted version. So there are various ways to do this with a jailbroken iPhone or iPad. However, if you just want to do the simple way and then download it from the internet, what you can do is go to the Play Cover Discord page and find their decrypted IPA channel and then you can do a search for Diablo Immortal. However, if we do a search within this and we type in Diablo, however, the latest download link for decrypted Diablo Immortal is no longer functioning at the time of recording. So therefore we need to find a different source. So there's various places which offer decrypted IPAs, for example, ipa.decrypt.day. I'm not going to link to this directly, but you can do a search for a game, for example, Diablo, press return, and then you'll find a link here. So all we need to do is go ahead and download the IPA. It might take a bit of time. I can see that this download is only going at 100 kilobytes per second. So it's going take several hours. However, there are other places that you can find decrypted apps on the internet. So make sure you do a search for that. The first thing that we need to do is click on the IPA button here, and we're going to load up our IPA, which we downloaded here. This is the decrypted version of Diablo Immortal. Press open. So the next stage is that we need to enter an Apple ID account. So some people are quite paranoid. They don't want to use their real Apple ID. Side they do guarantee that they don't look at your Apple ID details when you enter it here. However, I suggest for safety that you create a brand new Apple ID account, which is not connected to your main accounts, and then use it just for side loadly. So I'm going to enter my details here. Once you're done, we're going to press the start button here. So now it's asking us for the password for the Apple ID authentication. What we're going to do is to type in the password for your dummy Apple ID account, then press OK. And now we're going to press the start button again. So now it's sending us the security code to our phone. So side loadly is now signing this application to so just wait for that to complete. So now that the process is complete, we're going to close this window. So once we open up Finder, we're going to go to applications. And if we scroll to I, you're going to see Diablo Immortal is listed here. So here I'm going to double click. And this is going to go ahead and verify and now it's saying here that immortal is for personal use only i'm going to press ok to confirm if it doesn't launch for you still just click on it again so if we try to open it it's saying here that the app is for personal testing only in order to open it we need to click on the apple logo here go to system preferences go to security and privacy and then general and then we'll click open anyway here you're going to press open and now the game has loaded up so this is now logging in so the game is loaded up. I'm just going to go inside. We're going to skip the download and then we're going to play it as a guest. Here I'm going to press continue. I'm going to press continue and OK. And now that I've logged in as a guest, I'm going to press tap to play. And now we're going to go ahead and create a new character. So I'm going to press next here. So at the moment during character creation, I am having an issue actually making a custom character name. This is similar to the issue with text input on play cover. So what I would suggest that you do is that if you do take the risk of logging into your 
that's on that account, you can just go ahead and create a character on your phone and then log into that character. Or I'll suggest clicking this button here to create a randomized character name and then press create. You can also change this by paying some of the premium currency when you're in the game too. So you're gonna press create. So now I've got into the game and you can see here that the touch controls are working. So the first thing I would do is to pair a controller. So you can use your mouse to play this game pretty much. However, it'd be much more enjoyable if you had proper controller support. So I'm gonna go and pair a controller by going to system preferences and then opening up the Bluetooth menu. I'm gonna press the pair button on my DualShock 4 controller and also the home button at the same time until it starts flashing. Then I press connect. And now that it's connected up, the app itself has shown that we can actually use the controller. So I'm using my left analog stick here. And now this is working. The other thing we should do is change the graphics settings. I'm gonna go here, go to graphics, change this to 60, and then change everything else up to high. And now this is running at 60 frames per second. And lastly, we should full screen as well. So this is gonna full screen. And you can see that on the left-hand side, on the right-hand side, there are black bars. So this is basically the iPad version of the game. However, it is working correctly. So what I suggest that you do is to live with this. If you really wanted the widescreen aspect ratio, then you should be using the play cover version of the tutorial. That does require you to disable SIP in order to get this to work. However, this is gonna be an easier way of getting it to work. However, we do have to live with the fact that we don't have any keyboard bindings, we have to use a controller to play it properly, and also we have these black bars. However, it seems to work pretty well. This is quite responsive, and I'd say this is an acceptable way to play this game. So anyway, this is an alternate way of sideloading Diablo Immortal on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. I hope you found this video useful. I also have tutorials on how to get the Windows PC version of Diablo Immortal working on the M1 Mac using Parallels and Windows 11 ARM. I also have the sideloading method too, so please check the links in the description for those tutorial videos. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.